you know, if you're like me, for a long time before actually beginning to feed raw, you were thinking about doing it, but some things put you off. And maybe you're not feeding raw at the moment because some things are putting you off. So I just want to talk about some ways, some worries I had and some ways I got around it. And part of my worries were to do with mess and hygiene and all that sort of stuff. So, and space restrictions as well. So now we have this little chest freezer. We didn't have this when we first started to feed raw. We just had a regular sort of fridge sized freezer. Um, you can buy freezers really, really cheaply secondhand if you just look on Jersey Insight or um, any sort of secondhand website will have lots of freezers for sale for really reasonable prices. As long as you've got the space to have the freezer. I mentioned this in another part of the video later, but um, I really recommend these. They are lock and lock um, containers and they're really sort of A4 size, if you can say that a box is a four size you know what i mean um and in the bottom here's some sort of grill and this is really excellent because if you don't have the grill there's a lot of blood that comes off raw meat and it can all just get a bit sludgy and sloppy so i really like this grill because what happens is it all drains and stays underneath the grill um and keeps the meat itself um not slushy and sloppy so we just have the one that we're currently using um here and you can see that all the blood um gets sort of stuck at the bottom there I'm just going to put that in there. So at the moment it's like frozen rock solid because it's just come out of the freezer. So you kind of have to think ahead um, and you get this little system going. Whereas you use, you're using one in the kitchen and you're defrosting one in your extra fridge. This is our dog food defrosting fridge. So again, fridges are really dirt cheap secondhand. So as long as you've got the space to have it, then that's gonna work. Oh, man, I can't do this with one hand. Anyway, let's put it in there. Um, so I would just leave that in there to defrost and it actually takes a really long time to defrost because um, that they're really dense, these chops, and so they take probably like two days and sometimes some flavors like duck um, and yeah, duck particularly seems to take, turkey as well, seems to take a particularly long time to defrost. Whereas the chicken flavor um, and the salmon flavor don't take hardly any time to defrost. So. Once you've been using them a little while, you'll get to know that. Um, all right, so let's go through to the kitchen. So when I'm opening up a new chub, take it by the tongs like this, slice it all the way down the middle, just to cut the plastic, not the actual chub, just the plastic. And then I just slice off however much I want. So like that, and then I just pick it up with the tongs. So guys, it's not hard to feed raw, it's not messy. Because if I can do it, and I'm easily grossed out by stuff, then anyone can do it, really. Use your tongs, take your disgusting, disgusting plastic squidgy thing out of the box with the blood in it. Insert it deep into your bin. Close your bin. And you'll see there's some blood, which was underneath the drain. So it was not lying in all that squishy stuff because of this grill. Um, so then what you just do is just pour that down the sink. And then I use the tongs to take out the tray and to put it in the dishwasher. It's definitely worth figuring out a way to be able to feed raw because it's just the healthiest way to feed. I'm completely a raw convert now. Um, a late raw convert, but complete convert. Um, all right, that's all.